Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, World Edition, Case 45, Shadow Nation. Let's unlock Birth of Evil number 3. Okay, okay, I know it. On the bright side, the magic has got to a natural end now that the president is dead and his vice president is behind bars. And not only have the rebels to doubtless, as the Gwines are planning to have their first election in 30 years. On the downside, I have no idea just how Sora managed to take control of an entire country without anyone noticing. Even the vice president seems to know of Sora's existence, so for all we know, maybe the president himself wasn't aware that he was playing into their hands. Until we figure out the extent of their involvement, we can't be sure that Herrera's death is not to have eradicated Sora's influence on the country. Right, we need to learn more about just how Herrera was tied to Sombra Katria. I still can't get my head around the fact that Sora seized the entire country, and I didn't never heard about it. Yeah, well, you didn't know Sora's leader was real, did you? In my defense, the race existence was a closely guarded secret. You say you met a gentleman who witnessed the Herrera's rise to power, Katia. Then let's question him. Katia, before you go, Sora is being bothering me. I got stop thinking about Eva and her missing sister. Surely there's something we could do for them. I knew you'd be up for a search and rescue mission. I'll meet you at the camp to talk to Eva. Why not? <laughs> and I have a good feeling about this. First, let's go talk to Francisco. Mr. Ramirez, we're wondering if you could help us. We're investigating how Mr. Herrera came to power. Do you recall much about that period? All too well. Herrera was a bright young politician when we became friends over 30 years ago. He had a bishop but was struggling to make a name for himself. But then some the organization approached him, offering to fund his campaign on the condition that he adopt their policies. The organization threw so much money behind him that he won the election easily. And that's when everything started going downhill, but I was so blinded by nationalistic pride that I didn't even realize the country was turning into a dictatorship. I wish I could have stopped it there and then, Major Katia, but now the best I can do is offer you this money from the President's household fund. Use it wisely. Yes, I will. Katia, the organization Francisco referred to was clearly Sombra. So Herrera knew full well that Sombra was behind everything. Which means he must have been in contact with them. We need to head back to Herrera's office, Katia, quick. So you were... So you didn't know about Sabra. Alright, let's go help Eva now. Hello, Eva. Major Katia, is it true what people say? The Vice President's been arrested? Yes, thanks to Major Katia, but still is behind bars. Then I need to find my sister. It's my one chance to get her back. That's why we're here. We want to help you fight her. I'd be forever in your damage, Katia. Let's split out the car more ground. If I Costanza's going or she'll know I sent you. It's a traditional precaution, precaution instrument. I looked for it after she was killed, but I couldn't see it anywhere. Which Katia has to be a pro at finding hidden objects. If Costanza's instrument is at the cab, we'll find it. Oh, okay. So far that. Oh, let's first investigate uh, President's office. Or more precisely, Dictator's office. Oh gosh, I hate Dictators. I guess I need his tablet, but I can't click on it. Not yet. Here we go, I got you now. It looks like the president's office remains untouched, Katria. I how expect someone to have cleared it out by now. I was surprised Hero was careless enough to leave his tablet lying around. We have to break that code to unlock its secrets. Okay. And now it's Vesky Rebels Huts.
also jetzt erstmal you wanna search to those vegetables was gibt ihr aber da kannst du ja precautions but anywhere so you might as well let's do this then all right now let's first do this lock tablet Very useless to us. Her as a person security was as sloppy as I thought, Katia. Her to go to establish is encrypted. But I want to our Mr. Clay to let's send him the tablet. Let's send it to our genius here. <laughs> Six hours. Now let's search this sack. Or whatever. Do this with because has a seat here. Yeah, there's one way to know for sure. Let's dust this thing for fingerprints. Of course. How's that gonna tell us where to find her? Great, let's get these fingerprints to Elliot. They belong to Costanza, that means we found her Goiro. Why can't I do that? I don't understand, after all these gates, you don't trust me. No. <laughs> let's first check out this tablet. And today you hit the mother low with this tablet. It's full of heroic communications with Sombra. The message is making clear that the Guayba was Summer's first and only attempt at seizing control of a country. A trial run, if you like. So continues to remind the Herrero of how crucial his success was to their organization. So much do so that they said that agent every, agent every two months to check how things were going. Right. Right. If you don't say what I was saying, just tell me. I apologize, Miss Clayton. Please continue. So, Sombra agent would come check up on Herrera every two months. The rest of the time, Herrera was the one who traveled to meet with Sombra. And Herrera was scheduled to meet his Sombra called the Machu Picchu in just two days. So, Herrera was about to meet up with a Sombra agent. And yeah, this could be the lead we've been waiting for. We'll see what Chief Rip thinks of this. Oh, interesting. You say Machu Picchu, so. Match picture is, per is in Peru, right? Hey, Katria, listen to this. Sanjay, please cut it out, you gave me a headache. If you want to hear real music, you should try listening to The Fix, or The Lone Roses, or... Vanna, Alabama, I heard you listen to her when you think nobody's around. I... Uh... You must want the results of those fingerprints, Katia. As it thought they belonged to Constanza. Great work, Elia. Hope will be enough to win your trust. The question is, how do we find her? You're right, Katia. Eva said it was the militia who took her sister from the camp. Which means better should be able to tell us where she was taken. Let's go ask him. Okay. Let's go talk to Pedro. Petrovic, could I need your help? We are looking for a little girl called Constanza who will leave your militia kidnapped from the camp. Those materials never kidnapped anyone, Bitch Katia. We simply restored them to their rightful place in the city. That camp is no place for children. So this is no place for a 10 year old by herself either. And did I remind you that Bitch Katia saved your life earlier? Fine, maybe I did see the girl. I called her at the surveillance post a few times. She seemed to be looking for something. I thought I should get into trouble, but she kept coming back. You might find her there, bitch, Katia. Alright, let's head to the surveillance post, Katia. We'll grab a snack on the way. I'm starving. Okay, let's find her finally, and let's get out of this country. I don't like it anymore. Alright, let's rescue surveillance post.
There you are, can't click on you yet. Don't jump, please. I got you. Hello, are you Constanza? I I wasn't doing anything wrong up here, I swear. Please don't arrest me. You're not here to rest. This bitch got here. Eva asked us to find you. See, here's a Goiro. She told us it's your favorite instrument. You you know where Eva is? I tried to find her for so long. I was so happy when I heard her presence was dead, but I couldn't find my way back to the camp. I'll be coming up here to try and spot it. That's all over now, Costanza. We'll take you back to your sister. Yeah, let's finish with all this. Alright, so let's go to Eva. Eva, I'm back! Mejkatia rescued me. Costanza, I, I can't believe it's really you. Are you okay? Did the militia hurt you? No, I was really scared, but I tried my best to be brave, just like you always taught me. I'm sorry that I let you down, Constanza. I looked terrible for you, but every time I tried to enter the city, the militia chased me away. Don't cry, Eva. I never let anyone take you away from me again. I promise. Aww. Thank you so much, Redkuti. I will never forget what you did for us. Please take this as a thank you. No. Katia, yeah, here you managed to reunite a little girl with her family. Good job. Yeah, it's nice to know that we can still do good, even with Sombra on our backs. Speaking of which, we learned that President Herrera was in regular contact with Sombra and that his next meeting was due to take place in just two days. Yeah, I sent a message ahead to Sombra to confirm the meeting. They have no idea Herrera is dead. And we you can intercept their agent when they show up in Peru. At least now that Herrera says someone's crash all those is lost. But for all we know, a ray plans to do this somewhere else, somewhere bigger. We need to catch it before that could happen. So pack your basket yeah, because we're off to Peru. We are going to Peru. No more looks like why this country is already fucked up. But it's not going to be more fucked up. Because there's no Sombra any here anymore. And who are you? I don't know her. And we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in case number 46 in South America. So, thank for watching. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye! <laughs>